Hi friends, we're Bob and Fran, healthy aging coaches, authors, and proponents of a plant-centered eating lifestyle. Many of you have asked what items Fran buys when grocery shopping. So in this video, she will tell you which food items she buys regularly. The list is arranged in the order that they are available at our supermarket. We hope that this can serve as a shopping guide for you as well as learning some tips and tidbits to try. And toward the end, Fran will reveal her favorite spices to cook high flavor delicious meals. Fran, it's all yours. Okay, let's head to the supermarket. First, I would like to recommend that you shop with a list and if possible, make it out in the order that the items are found in the store that you shop at most often. This will make your shopping uh, adventure a little easier. Also, I suggest that you check the store's online weekly ad in advance to take advantage of any store items that you would be wanting to buy before each shopping trip. One, the ones on sale especially. Absolutely. Another suggestion mm -hmm. would be to have some idea of what dishes you want to cook in the coming week and make sure that your shopping and list includes any needed items for those dishes. My shopping trip always begins in the produce aisle. And as you can guess, about half or more of what I buy each time is from this section of the store. We love seasonal fruit and buy lots of fresh berries, blueberries, strawberries, raspberries, whenever available. The same with melons, watermelon, honeydew, cantaloupe are among our favorites. I always look for bananas, grapes, pineapples, lemons, and cherries, as well as staples like apples, pears, peaches, and plums. And if you haven't tried papaya, mangoes, kiwi, and mandarin oranges, I suggest that you should. They're healthy and delicious. I do avoid buying any pre-cut up fruit because they're often more expensive, less fresh, and sometimes contain harmful germs. And I do prefer to buy organic whenever possible. So as you can tell, we love fruit, but we also love fresh vegetables. My in list includes the usual broccoli, carrots, cucumbers, green beans, cauliflower, tomatoes, all kinds, green onions, peppers of various colors. We enjoy eggplant, bok choy, white and purple cabbage, sprouts, radishes, avocado, kale, spinach, various kinds of lettuce, except iceberg, which is said to contain little or no nutritional value. And of course, there's also garlic, onions, potatoes, sweet potatoes, and plenty of mushrooms of various kinds. We especially like portobello, shiitake, crimini, and the white button mushrooms. I avoid buying any cut up veggies as they, like the cut up fruit, tend to be not only more expensive, but less fresh and have in, in many cases been found to contain germs such as listeria or salmonella. And again, I prefer organic veggies whenever possible. Now adjacent to the produce section in our supermarket are the vegan items such as tofu and tempeh. I buy the extra firm tofu and the plain tempeh. I don't advise buying the sliced meat substitutes since those are highly processed. Now let's move on to the bread aisle where I shop for organic whole grain breads. Also, we love tortillas and pita bread. And next, we move on to the grains. Brown rice, farro, whole wheat, couscous, quinoa, barley, lentils of all kinds, red, green, and, and brown, are among our favorites. Now, we know that there are many other grains available. Your suggestions are always welcome, so let us know if you have some favorites that we do not presently eat. Now there are lots of salad dressings to choose from in our supermarket, 
but frankly, we prefer to make our own oil-free dressings. They're really easy to do, very tasty. And if you go to the recipes section on our website at bobandfran.com, you'll get uh, several really good oil-free salad dressing recipes. And it's always nice to have those on hand in your fridge. Now the pasta aisle is the next stop in our supermarket. We always have organic whole wheat pasta in our pantry. We buy penna, spaghetti, lasagna noodles, and macaroni. Some stores even carry oil-free pasta sauce in case you don't wish to make your own. On to some canned products. I buy organic corn to always have on hand since from what we've learned, almost all corn in the United States is GMO, which is genetically modified, unless it's organic. I know that lots of people buy dry beans and cook them, but I prefer to buy the organic canned beans, such as garbanzo, which is also known as chickpeas, black beans, kidney beans, cannellini, or white beans. We also buy some tomatoes in boxes or in BPA-free cans for cooking. Now some other foods that we buy regularly are nutritional yeast, panko breadcrumbs, which are vegan, organic peanut butter and almond butter, organic jams and preserves, apple cider vinegar, medjool dates. These are something I'm addicted to, I love them. We use organic popping corn that we pop in our air popper, raw walnuts, cashews, almonds, chia seeds, hemp seeds, organic flaxseed meal, which we put into our cereal just about every morning, organic rolled oats, whole wheat flour, chickpea flour, and vital wheat gluten. Now spices are a really important part of our whole food plant-based diet. The following is a list of some of the ones we use most often. Himalayan sea salt, black pepper, garlic, cinnamon, paprika, smoky paprika, cumin, coriander, garam masala. Those are all great spices for Indian cooking. Onion powder, Italian seasoning, cayenne pepper, chili powder, basil, turmeric, rosemary, oregano, basil, curry powder, parsley flakes, dill weed, celery seed, sage, allspice, and bay leaves. And I don't know about you, but I tend to arrange my spices in my cabinet alphabetically so I can find what I want more easily. <laughs> okay, so maybe I'm a little uh, anal about that. <laughs> In the dairy cooler, there are many non-dairy milks available to choose from these days, but I choose to buy the unsweetened almond milk mostly. Although we don't use a lot of frozen fruit or vegetables, we always have some on hand just in case. The two that we buy most are organic frozen blueberries and frozen mixed, organic mixed vegetables. Now, a couple of non-food items that we always have in our house are parchment paper, which is the greatest invention ever because you can bake on it and nothing sticks because of the parchment paper, and chemical-free dishwashing and laundry products. Now, people often ask, isn't it more expensive to follow a whole food plant-based eating style rather than the standard American diet, which is S. AD. We've been eating this way for over 15 years and we find that it is so it costs so much less than what other people are spending for meat, eggs, etc. Plus, this way of eating has saved us a ton of money on doctor's bills, pharmacy bills, and hospital bills since it's really boosted our immune system and we, we are staying very healthy. Can't beat that. Why? I'm, I'm, I'm exhausted from all this shopping. I do go to the store with Fran here and there, but she does most all of the shopping. Right, he takes the groceries out of the cart and put them in the trunk. Yeah. I'm really good at that. 
<laughs> well, we welcome your grocery shopping ideas as well and questions that you may have and just post them in the comment section below. And uh, we want to thank you for your support and subscribing to our channel and for spreading the word. And we look forward to seeing you again very soon. Bye for now. Bye.